Hey guys, welcome back to Casey Crawls. We are in the shop again and working on the axle project, my rear steer axle. So I got some goals this weekend. Today is Friday. I'm just getting settled in the shop. Let me show you what I got. So the goal this weekend is to take, to have this axle, which is a 14 bolt, cut everything off of it and to have my inner C's welded on. That's my goal. Seems simple, but you got this whole alignment thing. I'll show you what I'm gonna do, my solution for the alignment bar to make sure everything is welded on straight in just a minute. So stick around, I'm gonna get set up and we're gonna get busy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the trail or in the shop. So <clears throat> here's what I'm doing. Um, when you weld on the inner C's uh, for a turning axle, you got to make sure um, it's, it's as straight as you could possibly get it. So a lot of people go and use an alignment bar. I don't know what that's made of. Maybe solid stock. I don't know. But if you didn't know, uh, the Dana 60... Um, spindle uh, is one and a half inch um, diameter so a one and a half inch piece of DOM tube fits perfectly through Dana 60 spindles so what I did was I got me a stick of one and a half inch DOM and I went to a machine shop and I took the race uh, in the center section of the of the uh, 14 bolt and I told the machinist, I need a piece of steel turned out that is the same diameter, outer diameter of the race. And I gave him a piece of one and a half inch DOM and said, I need a whole board in it that accepts one and a half inch um, OD uh, DOM. And so that's what they did. So I'm gonna use that as an alignment bar um, run it through the whole axle. Uh, these little pucks that I had turned out at a machine shop go where the races go, and I'll bolt those in. And as I weld the outer C's, I'll just turn the uh, DOM and make sure that it's straight as I, as I weld those things in. And hopefully uh, that'll make sure it's straight. I don't know, a buddy of mine did it. He's been running his for years now. Uh, works out really well, so why not? I wish I had the idea, it wasn't my idea, I'm copying a buddy of mine. Um, so we'll see what it does, but I'll show you what I got uh, over here um, on, the, uh, on the axle. So let me, let me take you over there and we'll, we'll see what we got. Okay, there's the axle. And if you didn't understand what I was talking about, I'm gonna take these little pucks and put them right there where the race goes and I'll, I'll bolt them in and that piece of DOM will slide through there and as I weld the inner C's, see they're not welded on, you can spin them. As I weld those inner C's on, I'll make sure that I can turn that DOM that's running through there to ensure that everything is straight and true. So I'm, I'm gonna get this all set up and break the welder out and, and we'll, hopefully this will work out. I, I don't know. I've never built a steering axle out of a 14 bolt. All right guys, it is time to get this alignment bar in place through this axle and both spindles. It was a bit of a challenge getting it all the way through both spindles, but I finally managed to get it in. I think we're gonna be in good shape. All right guys, so I think I have the measurements figured out. Um, the drag axle that's in the buggy is pointed up 21 degrees. So this, uh, let's see. Yeah, 
that's a little much. That's like 24. Twenty-one degrees. That's right on. So this is the angle, the same angle that the axle in the buggy um, has pointing to the root to the transfer case, the output of the transfer case. So these need to be set. I'm going to set this at zero. That is zero. Let's do this one. That is zero. I think that's about as close as I'm going to get it. The other measurement um, that I had to do was to go from um, the end here to the end here. It's 59 inches on the front and I've got it right at 59 inches on this axle. So once I start welding this in and I'm about to I'm about to put a few tacks on here to, to uh, hold it in place, I think we should be good. This should be the same width as the front axle or very close and this angle and that the caster should be set pretty well. So Let's break the welder out, put a few, put a few tacks in here. All right, guys, so we've got our axle situated. I've got 21 degrees here, and I've got zero degrees here. I have measured the width. It's 59 inches here, 59 inches on, on the, uh, the front axle, so we should be the same. I've heated this up, but I've been on the phone with people and so it's probably ice cold but I'm going to go ahead and start tacking this on then I'll spin uh, the alignment bar to make sure we're straight and I'll just do a few stitches little tacks around the side and hopefully fingers crossed this thing will end up okay Okay guys, so I think, so the goal was to get the inner C's uh, on the steering axle for the rear for the weekend. And I got them, it's Friday night, it wasn't that bad. I went ahead and tacked it on, welded it on. Let me show you. Um, so I think we're good to go. I took the uh, alignment bar out, I just set the truss up there so that's probably the next step i gotta get some of this grime out but i don't know not too bad huh i know some of you guys are gonna make fun of my welds but i think they're pretty good so i got the inner seas on the steering axle uh next i think i gotta clean this thing up and get the uh, uh get the um the truss welded on 
and figure out how I'm going to put it in the buggy. So it's coming along. I think, I think this is going to work out. So stick around, stay tuned. Appreciate you watching. And before too long, we're going to have a rear steering axle in old raggedy red. So stick around and uh, hope you uh, enjoy these, uh, this series of videos.